I moved. Again. Yes, a real bitch moved. <laughs> yeah, I moved. Um, I needed to get the hell up out of that apartment. I'll tell y'all more about that later. Why? So I'll give you guys a mini tour because you know I don't do apartment tours, so don't even ask me for that. But I'll show you my last apartment that I moved out of. Cue that now. Hopefully I remember to film it. Let me see. Let's start with the kitchen. I'll show you how crazy it is in here. So, <laughs> because I'm crazy, I need drawer liners. Layering every drawer in every cabinet for me to feel settled in a space. And I didn't have enough of the drawer liners because my kitchen here is bigger than my kitchen in my old apartment. So I didn't have enough drawer liners to put around and like redistribute. Like you can literally see it's cut in half because I just like combined some and I, I can't stand out this look. So I ordered new ones and I need those so that I can properly organize everything. But here's where we're at right now, I'll show you. So because my kitchen is a little obscure, right because it's a little interestingly organized i had to be really creative and i don't have a pantry about how i organize everything so this is gonna look crazy to you now but i think it'll make sense after i explain right here we have like the pasta noodles and like the rices and the that then we have bakery stuff so i've got all my cake mixes and things like that here my don't know why i have so many i think i've bought these several times thinking i didn't have any because they were too hidden um you know, pancake mix, all that stuff. And then all, that was my shoe, I swear I didn't fart. Then we have all the canned goods up here. Now I put those here because A, I don't have a pantry and because I think I'm gonna swap the way I organize these two cabinets. So I think I'm gonna put dishes and things like that here because I don't have that many. Like these are kind of like all my dishes, these and then these mugs and like the glassware. So I think I'll swap these so that all the food stays on one side of the kitchen. So I'll swap them so all the food stays on one side of the kitchen. All of this stuff, like I'm gonna organize it how I'd like and like these things in here. And then since it's bigger, since there's so much food and so many noodles, this is literally stacked full of noodles. And then I'll swap them. So I think that'll work well for me. And then I have like all my appliances because I think I did a really good job of not using things in my old apartment when they were too well hidden. So like stuff like my blender, it was at the front of my cabinet blocking things that I did want to use. So I never used either. But now I have that towards the back and like things that I'll use a little more frequently because I like love baking now. So like this. My blender, stuff like that. Me with the popsicle sticks in the back. Rug that was in my room. I think I'm actually gonna use that out here now. Oh, also the giant cabinet I had in the living room. That was never a shoe rack. It was always a bookshelf. So I think maybe I can put some of my books in here. Maybe organize some like equipment. I don't know. I am on my period, so my tummy is really hurting. Um, but I want to get some stuff done today. So let's get to it. Also, before y'all get mad at me, I know that I was gone really long and came back with a Betty Boop video. I'm sorry. I'm just a lady. Like I really made so I genuinely made like 80 videos, like explaining myself away. Like, guys, I'm so sorry. I left for so long and I just I just didn't know what I was doing as a creator. And I was really sad because I felt like nobody was watching my YouTube videos and people only like me on TikTok, but then they want me to make long TikToks and I can't, like I literally was just like ranting. So if you guys really do want to hear what I, what my reasoning was, um, let me know and I'll, I'll explain it. But for now, I really am sorry that I just did take that long of a break off without much warning and like much intermittent like conversation in between. I think I should have been better with that communication to you guys. Um, so I really am sorry about that. I really hope that I can like get myself figured out here so we can get a little more consistent because I also haven't been able to stream for the same reasons. So hopefully we can get that figured out and go from there. I'm really sorry. Don't do that. Oh. Okay, I finished um, nothing. Uh, so that's productivity down. Um, I just finished, I fixed yesterday. Okay, I've been a little productive. Yesterday I fixed my, um, resources thing that I've been posting everywhere the thing that I've been posting um for like all the resources to donate to like Gaza and everywhere else yeah I got a little done I'm a little tired but I want to write I have my book open right here proceeds to blur the screen so you can't read um I'm gonna get to writing and then I want to watch some Bob's Burgers but I want to I made dinner, I made HelloFresh yesterday. Um, I did cancel my subscription just because I was waiting for a specific meal to get it again and I did. So now I have the paper and I'm canceling. <laughs> so, um, cause I think I just wasn't really saving on groceries like I thought I was. Um, so there's that. My tummy is really hurting from cramping. Um, I'm gonna make maybe like a sandwich or something in a little but I really have like no groceries so. 
Maybe I should try to get some groceries first. Ooh. <gasps> I forgot I had this. Give me here. My makeup brush is on the unclean floor. I'm gonna put this on right now. Please be charged. Mind you, it's dead. Okay, it's been a couple days. There's a lot to show you, but I have to leave soon. I just wanted to remember. Day 13 of new apartment. I got a new box cutter because I think I threw mine away on accident, which I'm pretty pissed about. I've had that box cutter for longer than you've been alive. Not really. Um, but I got this new one and I like it. It's red and it's cute. I'm, I'm like really liking the color red right now. Anyway, irrelevant. So, oh, today I have on the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye concealer all over my face. Bro, why does this look like I just have like glass skin? after like doing my skincare. I, I usually just use it for like my under eyes and like maybe around my smile lines area. Well, let's not do that. Around my smile lines area. But I put on like a lot today because I put it on on accident. I just was like doing the spots and then I real I forgot it's full coverage so it just turned into foundation. And I was like, why does this look mad good? Like this looks natural, too excited. Anyway, we're gonna build my vanity desk for my room. Someone just picked up from Facebook the old one, the black one I had. I wish I had like imagery of it so I can go and then there's like the thing, that, anyway. So now I have the new one, so now we're gonna put it together. And then there's updates on the apartment, hold on. Here's what we're working with. I'm about to take all the parts out and just arrange them around, cause that's what I like to do. Okay, they gave me instructions for like the two drawer version of this, but I have the one drawer, so it seems simplistic enough, so I'll just let y'all watch me do it. She's cute. I really don't think I can fit my stream desk here though. I'm not confident. I don't know how much further I can push my bed over and I also don't think I can move this much, but I'm gonna go take a measurement and see. I'm gonna try something a little crazy that has a very low probability of working. Desk, closer to me. Drawers, closer to me. Other desk, this wall facing this way. Here's where we're at. It feels really congested, but I mean, I guess it's the best I can do. We're gonna prepare some fruits. Oh my gosh, I used to eat these all the time when I lived in Texas. Let me stop selling them in the Korean section of the store so I couldn't have them anymore. But, unimportant. We're gonna clean our fruits. So what we're gonna do, give you a, a first class seat. So what you're gonna do is first fill it up with some water. I prefer cold water. I don't really know what the difference is, if it's cold or not cold. Some water. And, can you guys see? I hope you guys can see. Before you do this, you should put the fruits in, but I don't know why I did it backwards. You're gonna take some apple cider vinegar, shake it up so that it gets all mixed in there. You're gonna make your little mixture. I didn't need that much, but it's okay. You're gonna toss in your strawberries. Put too much water, it's gonna overflow. Okay. Now you wanna make sure they're all evenly, they're gonna be evenly clean. So I just like to mix them up with this spoon. I hope that this actually does something. You know, I'm just not like wasting time all this time and doing it wrong. This is just how I clean my fruits based off what I've seen about cleaning fruits and like what's important about doing it so I would hope that this is right it seems like it is and I'm just gonna let them soak for a little bit after making sure that they're all coated and I'll start with putting the bottom ones in the salad spinner so that we can be sure that we're putting the ones that have been you know the most saturated in it first and then I'll stir them up a little more so I'm gonna leave this just like this be back to show you guys how to do the rest Okay, bear with me. I got the Beyonce perfume. I got the Beyonce perfume. Say Noir by Beyonce. Now, this came last week, but I was literally waiting to try it. So, bear with me, I'm so excited. I've been trying to avoid watching reviews so that I can have my own opinion as 
I'm trying like a new mini mic thing because I feel like the audio in my videos isn't good. So let me know how we feel about this or if y'all like to hear the chaos of my apartment. So... This is literally the Renaissance tour. Okay, this is literally the Renaissance tour. Senor Beyonce. Oh my gosh, is this magnetic? It's like, it feels magnetic. Okay, 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 okay. Ah! Okay. Oh, it's fruitier than I thought it would be. And it's, I guess I shouldn't be shocked that there's that there's tinges of honey. I'm waiting for it to dry down so I can get a good whiff. It's very fruity. I think I read something about chamomile. I think I get that. I th I'm not gonna lie, I thought it was gonna be more of a like, musky, not musky, but more of just like a mature moment. But I, I, I think I was expecting it to smell a little different. Yeah, it's fruitier than I was expecting. I like it though. If I had to give it a rating, ah! if I had to, ah! if I had to give it a rating, I think I'd give it like a seven. It's not one of my favorite fragrances, but it smells good. It didn't match my expectations, but I like it. I do like it. I'm gonna smell like Beyonce all night. Okay, today is organizing day. We have a lot to get done. It's November 22nd. I've been here for almost a month now, and I feel like I'm really starting to get my bearings around here. Um, I'm gonna organize my jewelry. I washed a lot of it yesterday, just like with soap and water and left them on napkins to dry. So now I'm gonna put all that away and then start cleaning the things on my bathroom sink because I cleaned my toilet so I could use that often in like the parts I needed to touch in my shower, but my sink, I don't know, I felt like I needed a dirty surface in the bathroom so that I could still have somewhere to put stuff. I don't know, it's weird. The way that cleaning works in my brain is interesting. Um, but now we're gonna go do the jewelry and then we'll see where we go from there. I got my Urban Outfitters dope, dupe, but it's so yellow. I don't know if it's showing up on camera, just how yellow it is. Like it's very bamboo, and I guess I thought it would be more of a natural wood than a bamboo. I wanna be able to store more things in here and I don't wanna see it. So I was looking like maybe I could buy like a wicker paper and like find a way to attach that to the glass in here so that I have like privacy in here because I want to put like I want to use this as storage so I don't really want you to see like my keys and stuff like that you know this is the jewelry that I haven't gotten to yet to wash because so many like tiny pieces and these are my Halloween jewelries and this is the stuff I have washed these earrings always bleed these earrings always bleed this is what I have washed and I washed the jewelry container so I'm gonna put them in here okay we got a good amount of organizing done i feel but i feel like i don't love the way that it's packed up so i feel like i really need to like dabble around with it i don't know i saw this tiktok about milk bread right <laughs> Um, did everyone except for me know that there's like a super particular way that you're supposed to store and like handle rice so that you don't literally harm yourself from the bacteria that can be in it? I didn't know that. And I saw this ticky tock and it was basically saying like, yeah, you can literally from some bacteria that you let like fester in rice when you leave it out too long. What? What are you talking about? I don't know. So, because of that, I've been really scared and paranoid. So I've been like learning about how to properly handle rice. So I'm gonna show you in the kitchen. So hold on. Look at my wok. It looks so, okay, scary. It looks so cool. We're gonna use this to make the rice. I'm not realizing, I don't think I told you we're making rice. So we're gonna make, we're gonna use the leftover rice. This looks good. Why is this sitting here? I don't know. We're gonna make the leftover rice, some turkey dogs and egg. And I think that should hold me over till lunch because it's 9 a.m. and I've eaten three times already. That's, it's getting ridiculous. I think I'm literally eating out of boredom. So I'm gonna clean out and heat up this pan and toss this right in. Rice, right? Right in. Rice, oh my gosh, wait. No, I'm not gonna do it in that order actually. Turkey dogs. Can you see me? We're gonna get some egg and some burro. This is all we're gonna use. Actually, I'm gonna use a little bit of barbecue sauce. I think that's gonna be good. And I need more because I'm running out. Let me clean out this pan. 
Also, let me know if when I do cooking on YouTube, you guys want me to like see stand the camera so you can just see the food. Whenever I don't have myself in camera, everyone seems to hate it. So it makes it confusing for filming certain things. Gonna turn the heat on. Ooh, that almost hit me. We're gonna put the heat on medium to low because we're gonna take the. Do, whoa! <laughs> whoa! We're gonna cook the turkey dogs first. Actually, I turned the stove down a little bit just because I realized I. Yeah, turkey dogs cook really fast. You really don't need much. I'm literally just gonna cut them into like these little tiny, little tiny little slices. I don't like these to be too thick, so. Yeah. I'm gonna put some butter in the pan now so the wok isn't just dry. Don't need much. Literally just like that, let that situate. Because I really don't like, I really don't like cooking my sausages in anything. Like I don't like them to cook in anything. Like I like them to just be in the barbecue. But I'm not making them the classic way I make them so it's okay to change it up a little bit. Any really big ones, cut them in half. Bro. That looks good. Just making enough for like a quick serving. Now we got our turkey. Crack my egg and put it in here. That actually could be important. Can you guys see? I don't think you can see. Not too much. Okay, I'm gonna add that. Then I'm gonna add my rice. My rice, I'm gonna fluff it up a little bit first. And I'm gonna toss it in. I'll explain the safety stuff to y'all in a little bit. This is gonna be more than one serving. <laughs> now let me add my eggers. Don't have a spoon, so we're just gonna do this. Yup. 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 Yummy. Almost broke every dish, period. I'm gonna let that sit for a second just to make sure that egg cooks. And then put that rice back in the fridge literally immediately. Rice don't need to sit out. We'll explain soon. And I'm gonna add a little barbecue sauce just to the whole thing. Like that's it. I'm gonna plate and show y'all. That's yummy. I'm about to tear that up. Wait, should I try it now? I'll try it really quick. Josh was not suspected. Delicious. I will say, I'm not a fan of cooking the rice with the egg. I like adding the egg fully cooked to my rice. I like that a lot better. Um, yeah, this is heavy as shit. And that's hot. Well, this is the best we can do. Ow, motherfucker. Get down. Like, you've pissed me off for the last time. This does look like a dog bowl, period. I don't have a dining area, so I do have to break my back standing up to eat. Hate blue light glasses. Also, I love the way I set up my room because now I can play Sims like this. <laughs> literally, since last night, I just grab this, and since it's a double monitor, I literally just... I've just been playing like this, and shit you not, this is my cowgirl lady. Like, sorry. Get like me, think smarter, not harder. Now I get to play and lay down and relax. I'm not laying down because I have my wig on, but normally I would lay down, and I'd be feeling great. Like, this is a fun time. I'm having a fun time. This is fun. It's a little crazy, but it's fun. Crazy's fun. What I'm gonna do now is not put up my curtains because you don't feel like fighting with those. You're next to me in the bed. Be quiet and let's watch. And I'm gonna write in my book. And play Sims at the same time. Don't, add, don't, don't worry about me. Okay, I'm gonna make another acai bowl. And I'm gonna make it with this. And I'm gonna show you guys the whole thing. I use the Ninja, I think it's called the Ninja Foodie. And I like to use this big old thing. These are from Sambazon. These are from Samazon. I think that they're un... Oh, they're organic. They're not the unsweetened one or no flavor. That's fine. They come with four in a pack, and I think these are like $6. So, still kind of expensive, but I mean, it's cheaper than an actual less Let me get out my other fruits. Actually, let me get everything out first. Okay. Got my thingy. What you're gonna do is break this up. It can't be solid like that when you put it in because it won't blend. Oh, I think mine leaked a little because... Whoops. Let me get a knife. I mean a scissors. And I'm gonna smash it up. Oh, that didn't work. 
break it up a little. Normally they're not this frozen, I'm not gonna lie to you. This is like really frozen. If anything, you can crush it up inside the cup, which I do sometimes if I feel like I didn't really get it as me. Let you guys see. Just get it out. This is really messy because I think one of them burst in the package, so there's acai everywhere already. Now, while it does look interesting, it's gonna be amazing. Got our acai. Then, gonna get my bin of frozen fruits, and I like to add a couple little straw. Oh, that's still pretty. Break up. Break up. You just want this pretty broken up so that it blends pretty easily. It's gonna take, I'm gonna put in just a couple strawberries. Remember the more fruits, frozen fruits you add, the more you're gonna create. So if you don't wanna eat too much, don't add too much because you're gonna make more of a paste the more things you add. And I kind of want a lot, so I'll do that. Add two pineapples and then I'm gonna add one little piece of banana. So really just great value bananas from Walmart. Ooh, yummy. No, not this big ass clone. It's a little tiny piece because I don't really like to taste banana but I do want the benefits. Then I made this ginger tea earlier this week. I'm gonna use that, some of this as my base. Let me get my strainer so I don't get too much of the, actually it's fine, it's literally fine. There's just like cinnamon under there, but it's cool. Should have put cinnamon sticks. And I'm gonna use that as my liquid. Just like some turmeric and stuff in there. This should be good to blend. I've always done them on bowl, but I kind of want to try spread today. I think that's gonna work. I like to get it all. Give me everything from the lid. Let me taste it. Mm. My ginger tea is in the mix. For the life of me, I can't find those cute little wooden bowls that people get for acai, so I just have this. Tried to order one on Amazon and it was a mini and I was pissed, so. Oh wait, I like a granola base. Brush up that granola and add it first. Trust me, it's so good. It's so good. Granola base. Then I'll add my acai over the top. Yeah, give me all that. Then I take my spoon and I like spread it out over the bowl. Ooh, that looks so good. Okay, period. I still struggle with putting Nutella on mine, but someone said to warm it up. But I'm like, how the hell would I do that? Cause it's in here. Plus it's gonna freeze anyway, so. I'm just gonna keep struggling with it. I'm gonna put some of this six year old Nutella on here. I'm gonna put it right in the middle cause I think I don't like when I put it on the sides and it just like makes the bowl ugly. So I'm gonna put it right smack in the center. This is not eating, you guys literally can't see. Okay, wait. Is that eating? Period. Okay, I'm just gonna do that. So I've been putting too much, so let me stop right here. That's still a lot, but this is gonna, this is gonna be good for me. I love Nutella. I don't have any strawberries this time, so I just got blueberries, which I'm gonna lather that in. And some raspberries. Yeah, I know they're all liquidy because I have, did not realize that I should be putting paper towel at the bottom of these. Just, let me just get in there and, yep, that's appetizing. I don't wanna use all of it because I use my raspberry juice for sweet sauces. Don't knock it till you try. Then I'm gonna add some more granola on the top. Kind of cover up that Nutella. I love granola, okay? Like, love granola down. Condensed milk. I need to get another one of these, this like squeeze bottle one, because the other one I had was in my fridge for two years, um, and it was hard as a rock. So, not slay, and that's gonna hit. Okay, that's gonna be hella good. We just made an acai bowl in like, what, five minutes? Let's try it. I've never made it with my full ginger tea. I usually use orange juice. I ate my bowl. Now I'm gonna put on my press-ons. Okay, iridescently nailed, made these custom for me. I'm gonna take all the nails out first because I find that press-ons are easiest to put on when they're all like laying out in front of me. Cause sometimes I like can't get my hand back into the container to take the nails out. So I just lay them out in front of me like this, like this. So here's the pinky, here's this nail, here's this nail. Here's this nail, here's this nail. And I'm gonna do, oh, this, yeah, they be sticking. Okay, they be sticking, like that. Lay them all out in front. 
Then I have this little tool here. I'm actually not sure what this is supposed to do. I think it's supposed to push your cuticles back. I can't be sure. Um, I do have to drill things today, so maybe I should have waited to do this, but um, we've gone too far now. Actually, not really at all. I've literally done nothing, but I'm already mentally in a place where I have press-ons on, so I'm gonna put these on. Little file. Nothing crazy. You don't need to file all the nail you have away. You don't need to do all that. Just make it grainy enough that the nail has something to adhere to, and then that's it. Oh wait, let me record this for my TikTok. And I'm putting on my press-ons. Then I've got my kids glue, or is it is it kids or KDS? I don't know. Oh, it's few shots still. Oh, I gotta cut it. Let us with a sleigh ride together with you. I'm getting on a Bye. Oh my gosh, you fell! I'm sorry, sorry, I had no idea. We're gonna start with the thumb. I just kind of use the nail to push a little more. I always do this than what I just pushed. I put, can you see? I put a dot of glue in the center and then I'll spread it to the corners. Pretty. And then I'm gonna do the same with this nail. Look how pretty that is. That is so pretty. I'm gonna put my glue in the center and then push it around the corner. I like to take some nail glue and literally put it around where the charms are just to, as like extra security so that they don't fall off. Honestly, I get so scared with charms. But I normally would do this like while the nails are in their little crate, not while they're on my hand because I get scared that I'm gonna touch it while they dry, but that should be fine. I didn't put that much. Make sure you apply pressure so the nail sticks. And I'm gonna do the same with this jewelry. I'm gonna put a little glue. I literally will just drop it over the jewelry so that it like sm falls down the sides. Unless it's something really shiny because then I don't want the nail glue to like take away from it. But yeah, just like that. I don't really wear super long nails anymore, but I'm, I'm you know, I'm down for, I'm down for something a little different. I don't have any, oh my gosh, I have a movie premiere coming up. Whoops, this is definitely not matching the vibe with what I'm wearing, but you know what, that's fine. I'm gonna have to make it match the vibe. I think it's in a few days. Wait, let me check. See, cause now I'm tripping. And now I'm already finna start talking like this cause I got my nail. Oh, okay, no, the, the premiere's not for next week. These are not gonna be on next week. I have I actually have another set from her that I think I would wear to this premiere. I want a small set from her, like, that's really that girl. Okay, oh! Okay, I literally came to say I'm gonna put the rest on and then I'm gonna show you guys after. They're on, aren't they so cute? Iridescently nail, you really do that. Like, I think this was a freestyle, a custom freestyle that she sent me, period. And now I'm about to go do a bunch of stuff so I can go like this and continue doing this because this is how I need to do everything when I have on long nails, so. I need y'all to understand the fight that it took to get this up here and the fact that I got it up there and it's straight. Get a laser leveler and I'm not playing. Get a laser leveler. Saved my life, okay? Saved me, saved. Now I'm about to put up my Christmas lights. That needs to be in the living room. So I'm gonna have to move this and this. So that's gonna be hard. I can either switch this up and put the two white, sh one of the white shelves over there, or both of them over there, or my computer desk here. The double desks have to go, let me work. Let me work. Okay, so now I have my stream desk here. This here, but this, this is gonna hurt me physically. I think what might be best is centering this again with the TV in the bed. And then maybe these two here? Bruh, I don't know. And then I would just have to do the double desks on one wall. Okay, so the lights that were around my door outside fell down, so I'm gonna try putting them here. Five step spray routine. I gotta hurry up, my camera's done. Charlotte Tilbury, Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. ABH. One size. <clears throat> Mayron. <gasps> Kimchi. 
Also, this milk lip gloss smells so good. It smells so yummy. Try not to make any crazy expressions while your face is setting. You will set any creases into your face. Okay, bye. That's literally such a beat, like. Okay, I'll see you out Spotify. Um, I'm about to, huh? What's your name, you? Um, I'm about to go to the Spotify rap party with Trey. And, oh, I dropped something. That doesn't matter. This is what I'm wearing. Um, it's, it's pretty casual. My boyfriend got me this shirt and then I bought these cargos for a cosplay. Um, and I just ended up really liking them because I told y'all, they don't make cargos, they don't make them well when they make them for women. Like, I, you just have to buy the men's stuff. They give you like fake pot pockets and shit. Like I can, I literally have a phone in this pocket, my keys in here, and then my purse. And I was gonna bring my digi, but I don't know. I haven't been in like a picture taking vibe. I don't think I've taken a photo in like weeks. And then I brought my, I was gonna bring these, but I feel like this brings out the librarian in me. So maybe I should keep these the fuck at home. Um, but I don't know. I, every time I feel ugly, I like to have glasses on deck just in case. But, okay. Well, I'm about to leave and I'm gonna take y'all with me so don't be talking about I don't be recording nothing because I have I'm, you're going in my purse. Just hit my elbow there, mind you. Like direct elbow. Like, di like direct elbow. Laundry going crazy, but I'm gonna make potato wedges for breakfast. Okay, first we're gonna move these. These are the potatoes I have. I'm gonna put them here. But I'm only gonna do one potato at a time because I wanna show you guys and talk. I got this new knife on Amazon. Um, I saw a TikTok about Japanese knives. And I was like, oh yeah? Give me that. So I ordered one. It's worth it. What the hell? Just like seamlessly slicing through this. And I mean, I guess this is how a knife is supposed to work normally. Yeah, none of my knives get down like this. All of my knives are super dull and don't slice for shit. See? Okay, now I'm gonna actually explain what I just did. I think it was pretty easy to see, but I'll, I'll explain it anyway. Cut your potato down the center. Once you've got the center, mine are sticking to the knife because I didn't dry mine off because uh, I'm impatient and I want to eat soon. Then you're gonna take the potato halves, put them down on their faces, and then they'll be super easy to chop down. Boom, see? And then we're also gonna keep them, keep them attached so that it's easy to quarter them. Boom, and then now we have four little potato wedges. I made three potatoes. I, well, I have three potatoes here. I think that's kind of too many because um, I always make too many, but I do always end up eating them. But you know when you eat all your food, but you, you still know it was too much food? Yeah, that's what I do with potato wedges because this is already a lot of wedges for one person. But I've already washed this potato. Like, I feel like I have to use it. I also kind of want to, maybe I should put it in there as like a, t a potato ball. It's really small. I've never had a potato ball. I'm going to make this a potato ball. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. I don't know. We'll see. No, no. We're not making potato balls. Have, then quarter. Oh, these make baby wedges. Have it, quarter it. Keep it together. So it's easy to quarter, and that's it. We're all done. Now we've got our potato wedges. I wish there was light here. Oh my gosh, there's literally a light here. Can I turn it on? Oh, I forgot those are here. Um, I don't know if it's gonna turn off or not, but. Okay, then what I'm gonna do is take some avocado. No, I'm not. I'm gonna take some olive oil. I just used this one from Sprouts. I've had it for so long. Sprouts is expensive, so I did not buy this again recently. I've just had it. Do, do, do. Oh, that went all over the counter, period. Right. Some sea salt. I don't even have regular salt in my house because I bought sea salt for my ear piercing two years ago. I've had this all for two years. I hope salt doesn't expire because whoops. And I just never turned back. I like sea salt. Oh, then the saison, the Goya saison. I'll let that on the counter. Okay. Then I think I'll do a little Italian. I've been liking putting Italian on it in my wedges. And then a little paprika. Oh, that was too much. Oh well. I have the Gotham baking set. And then I've got my little tongs. I'm just gonna mix these up the best I can in this little ass bowl that I chose to get. Because I, for some reason, delusionally thought they were gonna fit in here. Okay. Okay, well, they thought that was okay. 
I'm gonna take a little more olive oil and just lather that all around my pan. I literally am just gonna take the tongs and spread the oil as good as I can. Now I'm gonna preheat the oven. I'm gonna put the oven to bake at 350. So I just started that and I should have started that when I started. So once that's done, I'm gonna stir them up a little bit more. I just wanna make sure everything is evenly coated and I literally just dump it onto the baking pan and I will literally scrape any oil and any seasoning. See, there's a lot of seasoning and oil in here. I will literally scratch it off and drench that all over them. Not the healthiest breakfast, but um, I don't care. <laughs> Try to spread them out so that everything gets an even baking. I don't like to have the potatoes on top of each other. I feel like they won't bake evenly. Literally any dollar I'm getting on there. You will, you will bake properly. See? Now that's what I'm talking about. Had to immediately dawn power wash that, um, my tongs and my bowl so they don't stain. Well, the tongs at least. The bowl will be fine, it's glass. Cleaning up the counter really quick. Saison will stain, for sure. So, I don't like to give her a chance because then I need to get out all the extra stuff to clean out and do that. So now they're done. Now I literally just need to pop them in the oven. It's not done preheating, but it's fine. I'll pop them in anyway. Ignore the TikTok I was watching in the back. You see they're bubbling? We need to flip them now. Can't find my oven mitts, so I just have a rack, but I literally just took the tongs I used, shifted them around, and then put them back in. Okay, they looking good. So I'm gonna turn off the stove now, because now they're just gonna get residual heat from being in the oven. These are gonna be so good. All the happy smiles and the wishes And I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe Tell me one thing Is there anything that you're missing? Look what I did too! Dude, I had extra lights. It's a beautiful day to be me. Okay, so we're about to try to fix my Urban Outfitters shelf because I don't really like where we're at with her. Where we're at with her right now is, yeah, um, you can see all my possessions. <laughs> so I don't like that. Okay, so here's where we're at. It doesn't look like it's gonna hide that much, but look how much it disguises. You cannot see what's in that shelf anymore. That's exactly what I wanted. But um, yeah, there wasn't enough on the roll to do the both doors, so I have to buy another freaking roll. And it's really hard to cut, but I'm almost done. This is exactly what I wanted, completely incognito. You literally can't tell what the hell is in there. What you're seeing in the reflection is just me. I love it. I just need to order some for the other side and then it's all good. Sometimes I really like how I look with no mascara, but I have to do what I have to do, which is mascara. <laughs> okay, here's the glam. I think I need a little more blush. I feel like I just look bland, um, but I don't know if the back of my wig is looking right. Is she looking right or is she looking left? I better be looking right. Yeah, they're here. Like, we're just trying to get green lights down. Oh no, it's fine. You sure? Oh my God, I want to focus, focus. Okay, we're gonna do the Vogue um, questions challenge. Is this your first premiere? No. Um, do you love the color, the actual, not even the film, just the color in general? Mm -hmm. It's a good one. Um, would you consider yourself one of those girls who loves the color purple so much that you buy it no, in purple? That's okay. pink. Oh, that's pink. That's pink. Okay. Okay. Um, have you ever been in? Oh, we're not allowed to talk about the location of where we are. This exact location. This exa have, yes, you, I have. have you been to? Yes, this exact location. Do you think that movie premieres at this location? Or Am I special? one? Take <laughs> I love it. I think it's really cute. Gorgeous. All right. Lovely. Content creator. <laughs> <laughs> this makeup look looked so good. to like how this smells. I don't think I liked how the Keys cleanser smelled at first, but 
It's growing. I'm gonna up. try this milk moisturizer. Oh, it's really thick. I don't think I was expecting it to be this thick. I wouldn't have gotten this much. I don't have many left. That was the most overwhelming dentist visit of my life. I literally started bawling my eyes out because I was so overwhelmed. And stuff like this is really hard when I don't have my mom especially because, I don't know, like I felt so alone and like, I, I literally I literally cannot explain why I started crying because I don't know. I just assumed that I've, I was like, I felt really alone. I just started bawling my eyes out. I literally, I need a huge procedure. To me, it's a huge procedure on my front tooth and they're talking about it might need an implant at some point. That is so scary for me to think about. I don't know why I think I'm being dramatic, but I'm really sad and I'm really scared and I'm gonna go home and probably cry on the way home. <laughs> I literally can't stop crying. Oh. Forgot you guys had no support. <laughs>